today nine places we are number one in the world chandrayaan 1 finding water molecule india is the only country first country which found water molecule on the moon made a very indian proud you know today we are having a camera in the moon's orbit you know who is having the best camera in the moon orbit the best camera belongs to india and indians and we are getting getting the best photograph that camera called on orbit high resolution camera august 23 2023 is historical day india is the only country and first country which successfully soft landed near south pole of moon and made every indian proud and no other country has soft landed near south pole of moon and dear friends i had a great opportunity to contribute for that when chandrayaan 2 there was a setback a 10 member committee was constituted to give recommendation we studied in one month we gave 107 recommendation 1100 page report was submitted and everything was implemented today chandrayaan 3 is successful and i was so blessed to be the chairperson of the national level committee formed for that purpose and 1957 first satellite was launched by russia in the orbit sputnik and they launched 37 satellites using a single rocket we in trivandrum in we in isro we debated when to get first position we decided to place 100 satellites and india is the first country which placed more than 100 satellites through a single rocket successfully and made world record and cryogenic rocket engine technology you know to send satellites we need engines the function of engine is nothing different from car engine you know car engine what does it does it move either human being or object from one place to another place rocket engine does the same job it has to take either human being or satellites but it's couple of difference in this part of country the car cannot go more than 80 km per hour maybe 100 km per hour maximum to place a chandrayaan 3 we have to give 37000 km per hour speed that is the type of engine you have to develop the cryogenic engine where we use liquid hydrogen liquid oxygen technology was denied to india knowingly it cannot be used for defense purpose people quoted mtcr advanced countries to curb our development today a technology denied three engines we have realized three engines and india is one among six countries having that complex technology when i completed my mtech and joined back it was a insult the technology was denied not only we have realized in one of the engine development mark 3 engine development we are having three places number 1 in the world just with three engines we have succeeded other countries have taken average six engines and minimum four engines between the engine test to flight we have done other countries have done in 34 months minimum and average is six years india has done in 28 months and we are number 1 in the world today in that place and a experiment with 5000 kg of hydrogen has to be done and generally people spend crores of rupees and do lot of experiments and in a 1000 crore facility built over 10 years without any experiment only with digital simulation the knowledge gained in iit kharagpur knowledge gained in other academic institute we went for the experiment today we have done that in 34 days and we are number 1 and this world record cannot be broken by any country in another 50 years because nobody is going to take such a risk and after modi ji to cover us the prime minister of this country lot of good things are happening in the space area a country which was not having satellite technology we were given a direction we conceived built a thousand kg satellite launched using our own rocket and donated to south asian countries for them to use today we are building a g20 satellite g20 satellite and for studying the air pollution atmospheric conditions and we are going to donate to south asian country i mean g20 countries and dear friends lot of programs are there this year we are going to have gaganyaan program we are going to have a chandrayaan 4 program we are going to land on moon and bring back safely by 2040 honorable prime minister has given a direction to build send our own human being to moon and bring them back safe you know we are building a rocket we are conceived we have conceived a rocket you know what is the height of that rocket it is equal to 40 story building height and the first rocket took only 35 kg to lower earth orbit this will take 75000 kg to lower earth orbit that is the rocket what is being conceived by us by 2035 we will have our own space station and we are going to build our own space station by 2040 a country which has 70 years behind advanced countries will be in par with any other space faring nation 
in terms of launch vehicle technology, spacecraft technology, application, sensors will be in power. Dear friends, this country will become a developed country. There is no doubt Honorable Prime Minister is giving a clear vision and we are all working towards that. I have to qualify my statement why this country will become a developed country. You know, nine years back, 2015, first time when Modi ji went to UK after becoming the Prime Minister of this country. I don't know how many of you heard there was an address by UK Prime Minister and our Prime Minister. And lot of good things UK Prime Minister was addressing. But one statement which touched my heart, I want to tell, I quote, he was telling, addressing UK citizen, he was telling, the days are not far away. The days are not far away for an Indian born UK citizen to become Prime Minister of this country. I unquote. What a great achievement Indians have done, Indian education system has done. Dear friends, on this occasion, I would like to say you should always be righteous in the heart, which leads to beauty in character. Beauty in the character brings harmony in the home. Harmony in the home leads to order in the nation. And order in the nation leads to peace in the world. Once again, let me congratulate each and every graduating students. Let me once again salute the parents. And let me pray the Almighty to shower the blessing on this institute to grow to much greater and greater heights and contributing by bringing outstanding alumni, outstanding graduating students for them to contribute to make this country as a developed country. Because it is the teamwork which has really given this great recognition from this institute. Uh, I also wish the institute to grow to much greater heights and contribute for the uh, common man of this country. Sir, what is the upcoming project move? Uh, upcoming, there are a lot of programs. Uh, number one, uh, this year we are going to have another eight more launches. Uh, one is a commercial launch, communication satellite of USA, 6,500 kg. We are going to launch using our LBM-3 launch vehicle. And the Honorable Prime Minister has given the space sector reform. So we have given PSLV for producing through Indian industries. And HAL and LND Consortium, the first rocket is going to come out by January time frame. And using that rocket called N1 rocket, which is the first rocket coming from Industrial Consortium, we are going to place a technology demonstration satellite. We are going to demonstrate a lot of new technologies, with, with including... Human. Huh? With human? Nature. No, not with human. I will come back to that. And uh, that in that we are going to demonstrate uh, quantum technology, electric propulsion, lot of new technology. 34 technologies we are going to demonstrate. This year we have declared as the Gaganyan year and uh, we are going to uh, go for the first uncrewed mission called G1 launcher where human being will not go. We are going to send a humanoid, half humanoid called Vyamitra which will be we are targeting by December. Once that succeeds, two more uncrewed missions are planned next year, followed by the crewed mission in the first quarter of 27. That's what is the target with respect to human space flight program. Then this year, we are also going to have a couple of important launches, including navigation satellite 03, and a uh, um, lot of other launches are planned. Um, um, right now, we are having 55 satellites in the orbit serving the common man of the country. In three to four years, based on the Honorable Prime Minister's guideline and vision, we will increase the number to at least three times. You know, for some around 150 plus number, because now there are huge demand is required. And we are working on the Chandrayaan 4. Chandrayaan 4 is going to land on the moon, take sample, and it is a sample return mission. And Chandrayaan 3, you know, the lander mass was something around, uh, uh, the total mass of the satellite was 4,000 kg, but Chandrayaan 4 will be 9,500 kg. So it will be lifted off by using two launches and docked and we are going to accomplish the mission. We are having a Venus Orbiter mission. Uh, we are working on a Chandrayaan-5 mission uh, jointly with Japan, JAXA. And the lander mass of Chandrayaan-3 was 1,600 kg. The lander mass of Chandrayaan-5 will be 6,500 kg. And the rover, what we demonstrated in Chandrayaan-3 was 25 kg. Here, 350 kg rover is going to be demonstrated. It is a joint mission with uh, JAXA, Japan. And Honorable Prime Minister has given clear direction. On Independence Day, you all would have heard. Uh, we have been asked to build a space station and uh, called Bharati Andrik Station. This station will be built by 2035. And it will be a five-module construction. Uh, five rockets will lift off that. First module will be accomplished in 2028. 
and there are lot of programs uh, lined up and to serve the common man of our country our society also we are targeting in the commercial market right now our market share is hardly only 2% because earlier our target was to serve the common man of the country wherever required but now we are targeting commercial market under the 10 years the share will be increased from 2% to 8 to 10% so we are working towards that thank you sir